As you've heard, there was uh, two people escaped from Clinton Correctional Facility. This is a first time in this uh, institution's history that anyone has escaped from the maximum portion, maximum security portion of this facility. The facility opened in 1865, so this is quite an unusual uh, occurrence. Both inmates are serving time for murder. One has a sentence of life without parole. The other is serving 25 to life for murder in the second degree. The one who's serving life without parole is named David Sweat. He's a male. He was born in June of 1980, 5 foot 11, 165 pounds. The second individual, Richard Matt, was born June 25th, 1966. He is 6 foot and weighs 210 pounds. This morning, we noticed during a standing count at 5.30 a.m. at this facility, the two cells which were adjoining each other uh, were empty. The search revealed that there was a hole cut out of the back of the cell through which these inmates escaped. They went onto a catwalk, which is about six stories high. We estimate they climbed down and had power tools and were able to get out to this facility through tunnels, cutting their way at several spots. I appreciate very much that the governor is here today. He actually walked to the cells to see firsthand the holes that were drilled in the back of the cells. He went to the catwalk to see they were out of escape. He went down to the portions where they were able to cut through a steam pipe at both ends. And finally, he ended up in the street in manhole cover. That's solid. Must have kept you awake with all that cutting, huh? This is a very elaborate plan, but we are only at the very preliminary stages of determining exactly what happened. First order of business is to find the two individuals and return them to prison. That's the first order of business. And we're working on that, and we're asking for the help of the people across the state today. These are two dangerous individuals. Uh, one was uh, incarcerated for killing a uh, sheriff. Uh, so these are dangerous people, uh, and they're nothing to be trifled with. And we have pictures being posted of these two individuals. If you see them, if you know anything, if you've heard anything, please contact uh, the state police or your local police uh, as soon as possible. It's